deck the halls with tons of bullshit. Fa la 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 la. Dirk, what the fresh hell are you doing? Oh, I'm just setting up a bunch of Christmas shit. Holly and fanciful stuff like that. Do you know the truth about Christmas's origins, though? Oh, no, um... Wait a second. You're going to fucking rant, aren't you, pal? Stop! Well, originally, it was a pagan holiday. Well, a pagan Roman holiday called Saturnilla. Celebrating the end of the harvest, it involved a great deal of drinking, gambling, and other similar racist and chaotic activities that are generally frowned upon these days. Oh my god, someone behead me. Meanwhile, in Northern Europe, a festival called Yule was even more chaotic and crazy. They would drink prodigiously, and then make an absolutely gigantic fucking bonfire. The point of the celebration was to ward off winter depression by setting shit on fire. Do you ever shut your robotic yap? And another thing! I feel like you've said that so many times you've run out of things that could be constituted as another. I've been wrong every goddamn time. Everyone says that December 25th, the date of our Christmas celebration, was the birthday of Jesus. But the whole truth is that nobody actually knows when Jesus was born, and just assumes that because it's what they've been told. Oh, cool, cool. Christians and church and shit, can we move on? When the church took over these parts of Europe, most people refused to stop celebrating their shit for obvious reasons. So gradually, over several generations, these pagan celebrations were turned to a celebration of Jesus' birth. Nobody questioned this because they were all too drunk, I'm sure. And that's when Christmas became a Christmas as we know it today. A peaceful shit show when religious people forget other religious people have different religious holidays and get triggered because somebody said Happy Hanukkah instead of Praise the Lord or Savior Jesus Christ or whatever the fuck. Are you done? Actually, dumbass, it stayed a very violently drunk holiday for a long time after that. Think of it like a birthday party, except that the birthday spills out to the street and everybody's a psycho. Oh, um, Oh, fuck my- In England, these mobs of drunk idiots would go out into the streets and crown a beggar the king of misrule. The mobs would then advance on the rich and demand that they be served the best food in the house. If they refused, the celebration would quickly become violent from there. Dude, these things sound like way more fun than this song observance religious bullshit we have now. Dude, agreed by like 110%. I'm so agreed that I've created a mathematical fallacy just to agree with you. Okay, so we're done now, right? But then the Puritans, or as I like to call them, the hardcore Christians, came to America, they straight up banned Christmas. Any celebration or practices involving the holiday would result in a heavy fine. Oh shit, they made Christmas illegal? Yep, but that changed around the 19th century when immigrants came to America with the widespread love for Christmas and their own way of celebrating the holiday. This is where shit like holly, bells, and even the fucking big man himself came from. Damn, I actually didn't know where the man... What the fuck? It's probably because it's hard to celebrate Christmas when it's a perma-summer and you live in the middle of the ocean. True, true. Anything else you wanted to rant about, man? Well, actually... Dude, I was fucking kidding. Shut the fuck up and let me break this goddamn tinsel before I slap a bitch. Fair enough.